Indiana jokes are hilarious. Okay, so we only have the Grail Diary, so you're not missing anything that way. But yeah, we're going to travel to Henry's house. Yes, let's go. Oh, make sure we can see, hopefully you can see the, the dialogue okay. Okay. Close the door. Can we close the door? <laughs> Fine. So I guess what is is how we're going to start off because there, you know, there's a bunch of different things to look at. We're going to just see where all the hot spots are. There's a typewriter, a desk. I wonder if we can open it. We want a bookcase. There's a doorway here, but it's not showing us a door doorway. Okay. Oh, there's a Chuck the Plant. Aw. It, it's a lovely room. Although I do wish that the 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 um the color of the rug was different from the color of the floor because it kind of looks like a whirlpool in here is happening. But otherwise, no, I really like this room. I also really like how the kitchen area is done in grays. So it's kind of not uh, competing and it does get pushed back. Okay, doorways are not marked as possible scrolling areas. Okay, gotcha. Look at plant. Nothing special. Oh, he remembers these books. This chair, I thought I could... Yeah, I could look at the chair. Hmm. It almost feels like a crime scene. Which I kind of appreciate. Oh, that's interesting pathing. What do you mean you... I want to open it. When there's a fridge, I feel like even if there is just an old egg in there, I do want to touch it and open it. Oh, those drawers are... that's very frustrating. See? Look, a desk with drawers and I can't open them. I can't. Um, typewriter. No paper in it. Just look at Chuck the Plant. It's pretty cute that they have these little Easter eggs. <sighs> more books, more books, more books. I will also say, I, I do like, um, oh yeah, that does scroll. That's really nice. I really like how the books in this bookcase, they're not every color. They, they, they're only like three colors here. There's a brown books, red books, and blue books. In the Crimson Diamond, I have books of every color. And I like this more, um, this more restrained approach to color because yeah, books probably wouldn't be all the colors of the rainbow usually. They would probably only be like, if these are leather bound books, they probably would only be red and brown and stuff and blue. Blue would be cloth bound, I suppose. Let's look at the bookcase. I, it's a thing, you know, pet peeve, of course, is when you can look at something and it doesn't give you any more information. It does bother me. Can I push the bookcase? Oh, oh, wow. I was not expecting that to work. Um, he still doesn't see anything special about it. Okay. Oh, oh, cool. The whole time you put an old egg in the fridge in your gnome game. Nice. Oh, well, Flukus, congratulations. You're now less than two months from graduating nursing school. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very, very exciting. Uh, um, you're busy, busy. What game are you playing now? Also, the bucket looked really great. Thank you. The bucket. I'm really pleased with the bucket so far. This is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure in EGA. And um, it's it's good so far, except although, like Jim Makes Games mentioned, that, yeah, this is kind of a bit of a cumbersome interface, but I still quite enjoy it. It's gorgeous. How could you not love this, you know? Uh, but yeah, I should do a quick... A, you know, this idea that what is is a thing that we have to do is kind of a bit of a bother, but like, yeah, who knows what, you know, the design challenges they had. And honestly, they're still kind of inventing the wheel at this point. 
And so I can't, I'm not going to like judge any, any decisions that they've made here. I love that he has so many books. Another design thing is like, I have to click once on look, once on the painting, and then again, once more to confirm that's the choice I want to try. And so that's a bit extra clicky. But like I said, I'm like, there's definitely no way I'm going to criticize this based on, you know, the fact this is 1989. Go through dad's underwear? Yes. What are you talking about? Mm. Yes, an old man can learn new tricks. No fantastic fluke is like going going to school and learning stuff like that. Learning new things should there's there's not any you know statute of limitations on learning things. Yes, yeah, definitely. I've heard that Fate of Atlantis definitely um, improves on a lot of these like interface issues. Yeah, the pain points would be like the fact that there's so much clicking that has to happen. Once on look, once on window, and this third time, it's three clicks to do an interaction. Oh, interesting. I also really like this painting too. Oh, old house in four corners. It's also very restrained. I love that, yeah, we have a 16 color palette here, but we're not using every color. I completely did not follow that design philosophy. I used pretty much every color in every room, although I was, you know, some rooms were more dominant one color than another color. So in the, in the starting bedroom is you and Kimmy's bedroom, it's mostly blues. There is a pink bedroom that's mostly pink. The master bedroom is mostly green. I, so I did do some of that, but like they all still have all the colors and like, I love how limited this is. Oh, nothing under the bed. Oh. Push picture. Is there like something behind the picture? That's a whole usually a thing. Yes. Oh, awesome, Blah Holton. Your sister went back to school recently so she could get a better job. She did great and you're proud of her. That, yeah, that is awesome. I do admire people who do that. Oh, nice. Oh, ATM Machine says that uh, Fate of Atlantis had a sucker punch option to win most fights with one hit. I do appreciate that. Yes, Joe's here for you. Yes. We're playing, uh, this is our the EGA game that we're, we're, we're enjoying. Oh, there's a rug here. Can we look under the rug? Nope. The EG version, of course. Nothing, not even dust bunnies. Yeah, well, there was a wall safe behind uh, a picture in uh, Last Half of Darkness as well. And I feel like there might have been something in a wall in, in Personal Nightmare. I don't know if it was a safe. But uh, desk, chuck the plant. I don't know, I'm, a, I'm a, at a bit of a loss. No. I'm trying to remember, so when they go to Indy's dad's house in the movie, they find that it's been ransacked. Um, talk to the, oh, you talk to Chuck the plant. I think he said hello to it. I didn't even have to. Um, yeah, there's not even an option to talk to it. I'm a bit of a loss because I'm trying to remember what this purpose of this particular scene in the movie. After this scene, he goes to Walter Donovan's. Doesn't he? Yeah, I love the, I love the efficiency of using these. This, this they limited themselves even further. Like, there's no pinks in here in this room. There's no yellow. This is this this would not be to provide hints, but anyone who oh put pull the tablecloth. Does anyone who remembers the movie remember the remember the um? Oh, okay, sure. So that is a thing. Oh, cool. Um, 
Yeah, does anyone remember what the scene, the purpose of this scene in the movie was? It's locked? Oh, come on. No, I have to find a... I have to find a key. Okay, he's already been to Donovan. Okay, because he gets picked up. He gets picked up by Walter Donovan's men. Yeah, he yeah, he checks the return address on the Grail Diary. He sees that his father sent it to him. He goes to his father's house. They go on the pl okay. They go on the plane journey after this. Tell Donovan I'll take that ticket to Venice now. Oh, but Jose, you've never watched the Indi Indiana Jones movies. They're a lot of fun. Brody, I'll tell him we'll take two. Yes, very true. Now. So he finds he finds this place ransacked, and then that's his motivation to go to Venice because he's really worried about his father. I suppose that is the, the purpose of the scene here. Several points you do stuff differently than in the movie. Okay. So I found this. I have to find a key now. Um, there's no key in the Grail Diary. Um, key, key, key. What is? Okay, that's not a thing. We found that. Refrigerator we won't open. Oh, this window. Nice day. Okay. In my head, I'm hearing Harrison Ford's voice. Um. Yes, it's the Temple of Doom is gross. It's kind of a fun gross. But yeah, I, I'm not too crazy about it either. And I also didn't like the lady um, that was in it. Uh, so yeah, first and third are my favorite. Third is, is my favorite. Um, and the music is fantastic. None, none of the papers on top mean anything. What is desk? Chuck the plant. I pushed this bookcase over. Oh, sticky tape. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's a, it is pixel hunting. It's kind of lumpy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I okay. I was kind of hoping that Oh, good. And and uh, our, our inventory is not being obscured by um, our interface right now. So we have sticky tape. Kind of lumpy. Open sticky tape. I can't get the sticky tape open. It's too sticky. Oh, okay. The voice actor in, in, did Indy's voice and Fate did a good job. Oh, I see. Blahutsen, you don't like the genre. I see. Yeah, Willie, I think her name is. I did find the pixel. Oh, did Spielberg like that actress? Willie, I was not a fan. Yes, the opening scene, Kimabiji of Temple of Doom, is it's very Bond-like, you know? He's got, like, the white suit on. It's it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, lick sticky tape. It See, it's too sticky, so I gotta do something with it. Uh, maybe... Uh, Use it on the fridge so that it gets... If you chill it, it gets less sticky. That doesn't seem to work. I thought that was a good idea. Um, okay. So we know we have to f make this less sticky. Uh, with papers. Oh, whoops. Nope. This is very relaxing. I do wish that um, there was there was more music. But uh, it's quite lovely to look at. Typewriter, desk. I can't even select the papers anymore? Wait a second. Typewriter. I, it doesn't make sense to use a sticky tape with a typewriter, does it? Okay, sure. It does. Why does... Um... Okay. You... Okay. Um... Oh, okay. Spielberg married the actress who played Willie. I did not know that either. Okay. ATM Machine says Spielberg was rejected for directing a Bond film right before Raiders. That was a big appeal of the series to him. I was the under king. I'll take Temple of Doom over Crystal Skull. We don't talk about that. 
Oh, okay. Bilkin says the voice actor in Fate of Atlantis is Doug Lee. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you did end up accidentally seeing an Indiana Jones movie. Blaholtson. Open sticky tape. Oops. I really do like this font, though. What do you mean it's too sticky? I thought I... I t Look, sticky tape. I, th I thought I used it on the typewriter. Didn't I? I can hear something happening. Why? Why? Oh, wow. Jim Matt says he was Spielberg was also rejected for directing Harry Potter and I think Superman. Can you be um, can you imagine being Steven Spielberg and get re and get rejected on stuff? Oh, wow. ATM Machine says Chris Columbus, who directed Harry Potter 1 and 2, wrote a script for Indiana Jones 3 before Last Crusade. Lucas, have a great night. Good work with your with your nursing school stuff. Um, congratulations. Keep up the good work. That's amazing. Oh, Coffee Cup Arcade. Welcome back. You said uh, you worked with Spielberg opening up the Gameworks Arcade in Las Vegas. He's the sweetest man. That is so amazing. Coffee Cup Arcade. Oh, by the way, Amberzine gifted you a, a subscription. Oh, oh wow, AT Machine says it was about Indy finding the lost peaches of Chinese monkey king Sun Wukong in Africa. That is cool. Huh. So the sticky tape in the typewriter, he just types on it no matter what you do? Oh, yes. Oh, that's so wonderful that you came back to thank Ambersine. Um, use... So how do I make sticky tape less sticky? How do we... Do... No? Okay. How do we make a sticky tape less sticky? Use it on the window and then the heat makes it less... Heat would make sticky tape more sticky. Um... Because apparently there's something in it. It's lumpy. It's just too sticky. I tried that already. Of course it didn't work. Hmm. The sink, Xander King says. Did I even see a sink in, in this game? I don't think there is a sink in, in this place. Something fuzzy. Maybe you can get lint on it. <laughs> Which Bond film is the one where the pigeon does a comical double take? I don't remember that. Ah, oh, Joe is here for you. Says there's actually an Indiana Jones text adventure. I tried it once. I found it impossible, but I stayed playing games. Started playing games after the text adventure era. Nice. You sticky uh, in the bed. How do I make sticky tape? Less sticky. Oh, I take the painting. Okay, can you see Grail Diary still, or do I need to change some something around with the interface? Try walking into the kitchen. Oh, there's a nail, and there's a nail, there's a nail, there's a nail, there's a nail. Okay, hold on. Why would I take the painting? Okay. Is there is there a nail here? Two pixels? No? Oh, I got excited. I thought maybe I could use a nail. <clears throat> it's not. It's off screen. Okay, let, one moment. Um, okay, I will move that up. And I'm going to just change the size just a little bit. Just, um, okay. And let me just quickly see if I'm obstructing anything. Look. Okay, hold on. We just have to move things up. Just shift things around just a little. Oh, shift things around just a little bit. So this can... I'm going to just... How's that? Okay. After this, we'll be set for life. Okay, that's kind of okay. Although I kind of, um, I feel like I want to change the color of my text. Because, um, 
it's too close. It's like yellow. Okay, hold on. I'm going to change the color of the text. <laughs> Hi, I'm a little teapot. Good to see you. Can you... Yeah, I, I, yeah, the nail is not even a thing. I was hoping I could try that. Um, hold on. Let me just change the color. I'm not going to try... I'm not going to even bother... Um, Although I can go back to my beautiful favorite hex value. My favorite hex value is FF12345s. Four, four there we go. I can go back to that. Uh, oh, and snack can't be seen. Oh, you know what? I have to change the chroma key. <laughs> One moment, please. Okay, one moment, please. I can do, I can do this. This is going to be fine. <laughs> uh, so much finagling. Now I can go to green. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big on hints right now. I'm going to try to muddle my way through it. I tried to stick the tape to the painting. But what I'm going to try to do, I think, is um, I'm going to try doing that again. That's what my, that's what my thought is going to be. Chroma key, pick screen color, this. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay. Good. And Kimmy. I mean, not Kimmy. That's fine. Okay. And... Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Back in business. Okay. Okay. That should be fine. Um, now I'm going to try using, again, the tape on the painting. Oh, no. Okay, resize it. It's still only one row. I'm playing it on P uh, PC. I'm a little teapot. Okay, second Oko, good to see you. Oh, wow. Do I have a way to play Amiga games at the moment? Coffee Cup Arcade says, I would love to give you the Shadows of Sar Sargoth. I'll look that up. I don't, I have no way of playing Amiga games. Coffee Cup Arcade. Shadows of Sargoth. Okay. I will look that up though. And am I still kind of um oh good. We can you can guys can see all the inventory I think. The Grail Diary is the second Oh captions are frozen. Are captions frozen still? Seem okay now. Um let me know if they freeze again. Oh you helped make the game fantastic. I will check it out, but yeah, I can't unfortunately I can't play any Amiga stuff. And yeah, and Amiga Bill is another fellow streamer. Oh, Sakunaka, you play this a lot as a kid. I, this is my first time playing it, and it's really cool, but I need to make sticky tape less sticky. Can I just use it on the place where it was before? It says use sticky tape in something, which kind of feels like a hint. Yes, Jim, I would love them to have John Williams MIDI music playing through this whole game. Oh, there need to be three? Well, so far, so far there's not three. There's not, we don't need it yet. Well, I don't think we're going to get there today. I'm going to, I will cross that bridge when I come to it. Oh, Coffee Cup Arcade, you know Amigo Bill as well. Yeah, Amigo Bill is really awesome. I haven't, I haven't been to one of his streams in a while, but uh, yeah, he's fantastic. Use it, I try to use, I thought I was in business with using tape on this, on this, typewriter. And it just doesn't do anything though. Oh, Bill is a good friend of yours, Copy Cuff Arcade. Um, I think Bill and Dan might kind of know each other, potentially. Oh, his wife is super sweet. That's sweet. Oh, 
Oh, wow, Joe's here for you says that the CD version does play bits of the music. Use... I wonder if I, I, I need to go... Okay. Do I need to go to another location to do this? To do this thing with the tape I need? Okay. The other locations I've been to... Oh, you know what? The gym in the university... Um, the boxing ring, the bell. Oh, we have to go to another location. Got it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Xander King, good one. Figures we get stuck on tape. He should put it in his mouth and switch it around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would definitely eat the tape if I was Indiana Jones. Yeah, okay, so we need to go... That's fine. Oh. How do I leave? Okay, you have to walk to the door. Oh, you automatically go back to here. Cool. Yeah, I, I just, it's good that to know that I'm not going to be barking up the wrong tree forever. I love the reduced size of, of the sprites, too. I think that's really cute. Okay, so. I wonder if I can go into these rooms yet, because it seems like the the lecture... Oh yeah, the classes never end here. Oh, you know what? Maybe the water fountain. That could maybe do it. It's funny that uh, usually if I have a problem like this, I wouldn't go to another place. I need something stronger than water to open it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I, my, my own um, room, right? I need to access it from the outside. Cool. Yeah, small Indiana is adorable. Look at his little... Look at, look at this. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Bill, Amiga Bill is a videographer and amazing at what he does. He used to teach... I used to teach Apple software and hardware for editing and such. Also photography, principal photography, and videography for Apple. So we have similar interests, Bill and I. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, um... Yeah, Dan, yeah, Dan, I think, know, knows Bill. Okay, so I think there was some, I, I remember there being something in here that could do this. There's, there was acid, wasn't there? Jar. Okay, so this jar. Look. Full of solvent. Okay, there we go. Very good. Oh, it's... It's the sound of sizzling. Yeah, I yeah, I mean honestly oh look there. Yeah, honestly, I would not go to a completely different location to fathom this. The light the lighting here is nice. Oh, there is a oh I ATM machine. You're an expert on this game then. I I'm assuming you've played it all the way, multiple times. Apparently a background of an unused classroom of unused classrooms at one point, but it's cut to save disk space. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Monkey Island 1 introduced dynamic sprite scaling. Yeah, this one they don't do it dynamically. They have to like hide Indy and then have him come back somewhere else. So it's 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 cute, that little trick. Oh, cool, you're on an earlier schedule now, Blaholtz, and fantastic. You can watch live. Okay, now I can go back to my dad's house and do the thing with the thing. Oh, travel. You need to travel now. Oh, there are a bunch of in-jokes. Yes, there's Sam and Max on the totem pole. Yeah, um, Grindelwald was saying that the Sam and Max in the VGA version are, are, is more clearly more clearly um, Sam and Max than the one in the EGA version. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aw, oh, yeah, Bill couldn't. We're already back at the house. Yeah, Joe is here for you. I love little tricks like that where they, they don't have the technology yet, so they have to hide things. So we, we see that in Venice, actually. You don't see anything... Okay, look, old book. Let me look... Let me... What part is the book? There it is. Okay. Look. 
Oh, this is cute. This, this is the thing we need. It was supposed to look like my father's grail diary. Judge Khan, good to see you. Welcome back. Robot Spacer, thank you so much for rating. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why I need this book. Yeah, we're playing Indi Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure in EGA, which is not commercially available, but uh, the VGA version is available on Steam and on GOG. And how was uh, Gabriel Knight? Thank you so much for rating. You Did you finish Gabriel Knight 3? Because I, I, I saw that you were playing it the other day. Okay, so I have an old book. I feel like I, it's time to go to Venice, I guess. Something. I will save the game. I'm going to go until 1130, I think, and then we'll call it. But I do want to go back to Venice because I do want to show you that cool uh, sprite scaling. The non-dynamic sprite scaling. Back to Venice. Veni. Okay. I love this also. The uh, the hat and the whip and stuff. Is the falcon statue on Indy's desk? Is the Maltese falcon? Yes, get hype. Hello, welcome, Unsecret Crash, Valis06. Thank you, thank you for coming. Yes, I am a little teapot. I am I am using this time to enjoy uh, EGA games and learn a thing or two. Take a few notes. To Venice. Yes, Robot Spacer. Yes, this is uh, this is Last Crusade. But I am playing the EGA version because uh, my game, The Crimson Diamond, is an EGA, so I thought I could learn as much as possible. Like, look how gorgeous this is. And look, another example of the fact that this is a 16 color palette, but they're not using all the colors, which I love. Wonderful. I knew it was you. You have your father's eyes. Uh, it's great. So much fun. Oh wow, Coffee Cup Arcade says, super happy to meet you today uh, at Maple Mystery. Look look forward to chatting more and maybe collaborating at some point. That'd be fantastic. Did I tell you I'm going to make a spiritual successor to Eye of the Beholder 1 and 2? This is where the, the, the hidden sprite scaling happens. Here he comes. Little Indy comes out. Look! Little Indy. Like, the, that's the tiniest Indy. That's the third scale Indy that we've looked at. Yeah, uh, coffee cup, uh, coffee cup arcade. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'm gonna after this. I'm gonna message you on on Twitch. Um, ask about you know if you want to do the Classic Gamers Guild podcast because I'm sure they'd love to have you. And yeah, we'll we'll talk about something like right now. I've got some stuff on the go, but yeah, I mean we'll we'll see what we can do. That would be awesome. Yes, I'm a little teapot. Mark Ferrari does gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous work. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous work. <laughs> Yeah, and I love ATM Machine. When I hear it, when I see the the um, the movie dialogue, I just hear it in my head as them saying it. So I'm kind of glad there's no voices in this game. Has, has Harrison Ford played this game? Yes, Unsecret Crush. It's so funny that you mentioned the decorations on the building in the background looks like a little face. Uh, last stream, we we went to, we came to Venice in the wrong order before going to Henry Henry Senior's house. Um, Henry Jones's house, and people are saying, yeah, it looks like a dog face on that particular building. And yes, Blaholtzen, I was going to mention these stained glass windows. Look how efficient this is. In this, look, this is how many, that's like 16 pixels, right? And all it is, is the brightest in the middle, and then you've got the two corners. There's three colors, 16 pixels, and it reads a stained glass. Amazing. Truly amazing. And I love how the shapes of these gargoyles on these pillars is picked out with that lighter color of gray. It's just a master class. A master class. Although, if I have to make one criticism, I will say that... Well, that's not true. Like, I think it's okay because the lighting is coming from outside. So it's okay for this 
gargoyle to be a flipped version of this gargoyle in terms of what the lighting is doing. So I, I, it's fair enough. I, I'm not going to criticize that. Yes, it's very, very impressive material rendering. Like, look at this floor as well. Uh, and the light that's being cast. And the arch, the arch being cast, the light of the arch being cast. The only missed opportunity I see here is that we don't see the the stained glass colors cast onto the marble floor um, because we are seeing the arch here but this this that that's the only thing i would say is that they didn't do that probably it was probably too complicated and probably too time consuming yes and the and the library stamper is, is a book moment <laughs> got the cup arcade and worked with harrison ford blade with blade runner he got me drunk i have stories <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> Yes, it's such a it's such a pleasure, Coffee Cup Arcade. I I would love to hear Harrison Ford stories. <laughs> That's oh, I'm a little teapot. That's too good not to share. Uh, I'm a little teapot says I don't know, didn't know they got him for Blade Runner, the adventure game. I know Fate of Atlantis had to settle for Harrison Affordable. Fantastic. Oh, cool! Coffee Cup Arcade said uh, we rented the Rainbow Promenade Theater in Las Vegas to use Blade Run to to use for Blade Runner while we did art and design. Fantastic! There was only one Blade Runner game, and yeah, they, and and the Coffee Cup Arcade got to do it. And yeah, um, yeah, Coffee Cup Arcade, you mentioned a ton of your old projects. If you want to link to any of your, you know, I know you mentioned you don't really have any, anything on the go right now, but is there like a website people can go to, or can they follow you on Twitter? Anything you want to drop, drop in the chat so people can follow you. I did want to mention also that I feel, I almost feel like this exact fountain is being used in this one. Oh no, it's actually, it's the same fountain, but just on a slightly different scale. I love these like static people in the background, these tiny little people. I'm sure they would have wanted to animate them, but it was probably a matter of like time, etc. Oh cool! All your okay, all your all your socials, all Coffee Cup Arcade socials are linked um, in the uh, in um, on your uh, on your um, Twitter, Twitch, 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 Twitch. Oh cool! So Judge Con says the guy who did the voice of Indy in Fate of Atlantis went on to voice him in an Infernal Machine and Emperor's Tomb. So that that's that's awesome continuity. I'm a little teapot asked, didn't Jim Police Quest walls also work on Blade Runner? Huh. Oh cool, Coffee Cup Arcade, you and your wife stream when you can. Moving currently so no much on normal streams, but I've been trying to fill spaces with the demo scene. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Give you give us a month and we are back. Fantastic. I need yeah, I definitely need to follow you on Twitch. Oh, and you have a, a replica of um Roy Batty's coat. Yeah, the static people, should, but I love this tiny little indie. This is precious. This is too cute. Look at him. Uh, okay, but yeah, um, I did. Yeah, and I love the, of course, and and you know, I love how the distance stuff is I done up in blue, but the lit side has got a bit of color to it. It's just a real masterclass. It doesn't use all the colors again. Um, there are bits of yellow here, but. You know, we we talked about this before, but yeah, here are the there there are the little dog faces, um, <laughs> on the front buildings. Wow, you got the same clasps they use for the actual Coppola Holtz, and you're one of those. Like you want to have um the movie accurate, fantastic. Yes, this is so. Now we have our our regular size indie. I love the sizes of indie, but yeah, this is the funny building with the funny faces on it. These people, I love them. I love them all. Yeah, I, we mentioned before that this guy doesn't have any legs, but I'm saying maybe he's got his legs up on a chair, or maybe he's got his legs up on her lap or something. It's gorgeous. This is gorgeous. All these wonderful people, all their wonderful animations. Walk to manhole cover. Can we look at it? We all know where that's going. Can we pick it up? Nope. Ah. 
Oh, ATM machine says, oh, maybe if I close the door in the library, will it show me the, um, will it show some impressive stained glass effects? I love this, this, this Cupid, this putty, I think they're called. Also, it's a really interesting decision to pick it, pick the, the, the highlight out here in the, in the blue. I can't get enough of Tiny Little Indy, though. This is the best thing I ever saw. And the shadows. Okay, let's go back into the to the library. But this, like you can see in the shadows areas, uh, in, in the library, we've got, there's the dark part of the shadow, there's a medium shadow, and then there's the lighter part. That's fantastic. Oh, ATM machine says, originally they had Indy Sprite carrying his whip in his hand, but would have made would have made them have to use separate animations for left and right standing and walking sprites, so they removed it. Ah, oh, that'll... No, but they also had, um... Oh, so here they would have... So they used the same thing for these two. Ah, very good. <laughs> yes, and it's very clever how they designed that scene to swap animations. But yeah, let's... Cl if we close the door, is there going to be any, um... Change in... Oh, wow, and you see that. The light changed. Fantastic. I still will have that minor quibble about not having the colors of the stained glass cast on on the floor, but it's really hard to criticize anything here. And and just again, the lovely restrained use of color here in these areas. They only use dark colors here. The dark versions of all the colors. Yes, the floor shadow. Amazing. Look at plaque. Ah, I love how it says it's an Italian. These are sentimental books, but nevertheless they move me. Galileo Galilei Galilei. I love how he just says, "Oh, it's an Italian." Oh yeah, I can read Italian. It's fine. Donated by Giorgio Lucasi. Oh my goodness. Do it says donated by Giorgio. Giorgio Lucasi. Bueno. Look at this plaque. The Italian proverb, a library without bookshelves is like a haphazard pile of books. Yeah, that's about right. Magnifico. Dedicated to my favorite things, favorite little library from a lover of fine literature, Dante Alighieri. Very nice. Who wrote uh, Dante's Inferno, I believe? Luc Black. Donated in honor of Count Spiel Bergeron de Amblino. Oh my gosh, Amblin Entertainment? Count Spiel Bergeron de Amblino. <laughs> the whip is an inventory item now, we can't see it on stream. Oh, you're right. Okay, now ATM machine. Now, okay, I'm going to read this last plaque and then you're so right. I got to do my very last adjustment to my uh, OBS setup for this game to give us enough room to see that fifth inventory item. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do it today, but we might as well get it done. Look at that last plaque. Oh, we can't? What's going on? Oh. Oh, we can. Look. Plaque. It's archaic Italian for a great library, even if it is a second-rate city. Romulus and Remus. Yikes. Romulus and Remus founded Rome. And I guess they find Venice to be second-rate. Okay. I am going to um, fix this whole, whole setup thing. Okay. I It kills me. I don't want... I don't want to um, make this any smaller. It bothers me that I have to do that. But I'll try to do just a wee little bit. And let me try to just see if that worked okay. Okay, I gotta move these, just nudge this up just a little bit. Nudge it up just a little bit. And I will make this just a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay, once more, one more test. And then we will never have to move anything in this game ever again. Okay.
look okay so that's clearing that's clearing everything but um, I'll make this just a little I don't like having it touch up against it so closely so we're going to just resize again just a little bit One, once more once more beautiful though I this we've barely done anything in this game but I, I am in love with it okay that's better perfect <laughs> it's funny that the whip is an inventory item now but that's just never commented upon uh, ATM machine says well Venice was founded in the dark ages by people hiding in swamps from barbarian invasions <laughs> as a, a library if he has a copy of the blind Venetian the Venetian blinds very good Oh, are you kidding? The colors... Oh, you're right. Look at that. The colors of books... There's the purple... Oh my gosh. Is that random? Look at this. So he's got a green one, a dark green one, a blue one. That's wonderful. Oh my goodness. Randomized color. Oh, yeah. I can move I can move uh, Nancy over as well. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I've never seen anything like that before. There. Okay, is she going to obscure the, the text? Oh, how come... Uh, it stopped working. Okay, wait. Okay, there. Okay, that doesn't look like it's obscuring anything. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, fine. Wonderful. That is super impressive. Thank you for pointing that out. That's amazing. I love it. There's a script to randomize the color. I, I don't know how to do that. That's amazing. Okay. It is 11.32. Uh, we are going to leave it here, I think. Um, oh, my, my Nancy banner is kind of out of the way. Sorry, Nancy. Oh, wait. Other way. There we go. This will require some, some doing. <laughs> Coffee cup arcade. Yes, I am done for the night. With all that's left, all that remains, is I have to find someone to rate tonight. And it's not going to be Robot Spacer, because Robot Spacer rated me, so fair is fair. Yes, we're all done. Um, yeah, I'm just going to look. I'm going to leave it on this gorgeousness while I look. Oh, yeah, you know, Nancy, you're blocking the way a little bit. We're going to make you a little bit smaller. Great. Don't forget to say very good point. My gosh. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Going to save. Going to save. Uh, save. Uh, library. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat>